Welcome back, everybody. I am so happy you're here. Today, we're going to talk about the heart chakra, the love machine, the bridge between our two worlds. We're going to learn how to unlock this bridge and remove that troll that has kept our spiritual knowledge and our physical needs separate. So in this episode, I'm going to share some tips and tricks that help me to override my past programming and get this energy moving. So let's get started. Have you guys ever tried to hug a porcupine? No, of course not, because that's just crazy. Well, that's what it's like when your heart chakra is closed. It's like you want to love, you want affection, but you just can't seem to give it to yourself or anybody else. And trying to hug a porcupine, it doesn't feel good. So that's what having a closed heart chakra feels like. And for me too, forgiveness, that's another thing that causes this chakra to stay closed and protected. And I was not going to forgive anybody. I'm fine, I may be trapped, I may be alone, but I feel like I started becoming one of those porcupines. And I, I don't mean a cute porcupine at all. Porcupine! We're gonna grab a hammer and we're gonna start to break down all those old programs and old energy that's keeping us trapped. Because I wanna tap into what's on the other side in both worlds. So some of you may be thinking, what the heck is a heart chakra? Well, the heart chakra, it's our fourth energy center that's located in our chest. And it's associated with the color green, which represents transformation, love, and healing. And the color, it's funny, it's just a reflection of the vibration of this center. And when this heart center is open and in alignment, you're gonna feel so supported by love, compassion, and joy. You're gonna have a connection to the whole world around you. Your relationships are strong and healthy, and you don't have a hard time receiving. You're like, give it to me. <laughs> now for me, I have a lot of red tape on this center, right? I have a lot of old programs. I have a lot of rules about who gets in and who doesn't get in, and it's a mess. That's why in this video, I wanna focus on this center as just being your bridge, connecting you to the physical world and the spiritual world with all its knowledge and all its gifts. What are the symptoms of a blocked chakra? So we know that this center is all about love and forgiveness. And again, I was like, forget about it. I'm not forgiving anybody. I got my list of who's on my crap list, who doesn't get love, who disrespected me. They backstabbed me. Nobody's getting in. I will never forgive them. What I didn't realize is all those people that are on that list are creating little walls, little blocks in this energy center. So. That's number one, that's a big block. Number two is if you're feeling jealous or you feel separate from everybody else. Uh, if you're still living in past relationship, it's almost like you're, you're blocking any of that energy from the now, the present moment. Even though this center is all about love and forgiveness, I was like, forget about it. Nothing is getting into this center. So if you're feeling guarded, you have high expectations of other people, you feel lonely, or you feel that you can hold a grudge for a very long time, looking at other people for your own fulfillment. Wait a second, are we talking about me? <laughs> Did we just put my autobiography on here? So you're not a jerk, you're not crazy, you're not mean. Okay, maybe a little bit mean, but my point is, it's just that this center has been blocked off. I'm gonna share with you what I did to open up this center. I found at first when I had to look at those list of people that I had to forgive or the amount of programs that I had to go through, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna take years. And I was scared shitless of opening this landmine up. I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Is something gonna set me off? Am I gonna be crying all day? There was also a part of me that I didn't wanna forgive because I felt like I was letting those people off the hook. So there was a lot of mess going on. I, I was a little bit like, I'm okay living with a blocked heart chakra. You know, I, I, can, I can have that straw of love coming through. I'm okay with it. This one, little meditation that I did 
really transformed my life because I overrode the mental noise. I do this simple meditation where I close my eyes, and you can do it with me right now. I'll walk you through it, it's really short. Close your eyes. And again, I visualize the top of my head opening up and I visualize a column of light coming in through the top of my head, traveling all the way into this heart space. And again, I like to call it the bridge. And the column of light keeps traveling past my bridge, going all the way through out your root chakra, so out between your legs and going all the way to the center of the earth. And I, I visualize it anchoring in this space. Then the next thing I do is I visualize energy, which I see as liquid gold, coming up from the center of the earth and going up along that column of light. And then I have it stop at first in my heart center, my bridge, right? And I mix and I see the gold and that white light mixing. And when I see it mixing, I just visualize it cleaning and clearing out all those programs. Like I, you can almost like see them floating away like little turds or little boxes. Of, you know, you're just releasing it. Doesn't matter if it's Uncle Louie and all the crap he said or, you know, your neighbor. We're just watching it float away. And by doing this, again, I'm overriding those old programs. So I visualize it flowing out the front and out the back. And I start to think of this space as that's it. It's just where cosmic energy, that high frequency and earth energy meet. And by doing this now, I always feel a flow of energy going through me because I don't have that logical mind putting, putting its hand on the tap of going, hey, you don't like that person over there. So let's shut your energy, which is really just cutting you off of your own frequency. Isn't that funny how we do that? Like I wanna punish somebody else and by punishing them or showing them how mad I am at them, I cut myself off of this incredible frequency that makes you feel alive. So if there isn't tip number two, reclaim this space. Don't use cutting yourself off as a punishment to hurt other people or a punishment to hurt yourself, right? Because that's our, it's our light, it's our energy. We're only cutting ourselves off from the only thing that makes us happy. When you're living in the body, in that limited space, you're in the third dimension. And the third dimension is just the physical, right? It's the logical mind, the emotions and the physical. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're not connected to that higher frequency coming in, that's where you get that creative impulses. That's where you get that feeling of oneness. Even when we think we're falling in love with somebody else, really what we're doing is just opening up that valve and giving ourselves permission to feel this flow. Forget about everybody else. This isn't about anybody else but you. Opening up this center unlocks your mystical gifts, unlocks, it gets me all excited just talking about it, unlocks happiness, it unlocks healthy relationships. But again, the first healthy relationship is with you. You have boundaries and you're containing that love. So it doesn't matter if that person walked in that I don't like or I don't like what somebody else is doing. It's like, it doesn't affect how I feel. And then the second thing you're gonna find interesting is when you start to live this way, those people aren't gonna bother you anymore because you're gonna actually see them with more compassion and more love because you're not letting their energy affect yours. Don't be hard on yourself at the beginning. You know, this is a process we're, you know, we're constantly working on it. So take your time and enjoy the process. One other simple tip I will tell you, and I have my kids do this every night, is think of three people that you love, think of three people that love you, and think of three things that you saw throughout your day that made you happy. And the cool thing about this exercise is after a while, if you run out of things that you thought were beautiful, or if you forget about, you know, you're like, I don't know who loves me. 
all of a sudden your, your mind is going to want to answer those questions. So throughout the day, you're going to kind of look, you'll be like, you know what? I love that person. I'll put them on my list tonight. And it's funny how love also starts to become a little bit more giving. It's not so much like, hold on. I don't know if I'm going to put you on that love list yet. You know, we just met, but instead it just becomes like reflections of ourselves in other people. Like it's okay to love. It's okay to have this feeling flowing. I have another tip for you guys. You know how we love our crystals? Well, I love malachite and particularly this malachite is really good for chakras. So I got this really cool pyramid, this Oregon pyramid from Simple Spirit. And what I love about this is they have a little tree inside and this tree helps me to remember being grounded and being connected to those higher realms. I can use it while I'm meditating or I have it in my room. Again, just to remind me that it's okay to have this energy flowing. They also have like really beautiful handcrafted jewelry with sacred geometry on it. So the more that we want to tap into that sixth dimension, I love having jewelry that's got sacred geometry on it because for me that helps activate all those energies and are updating our nervous system and it gets everything going. If you guys want to order anything from them, they also are going to give you a discount because you guys watch my show. So if you want to go over and check out their website after this video, I'm going to put a little code in for you guys. Get 15% off your order. How cool is that? Anyways, I hope that throughout this video that some of the stuff here resonated with you. And again, I want you to know that you're not alone, that we're all going through this process together. We're all, we all have emotions. We all have problems. We all have blocks and that's okay. So if you guys have any tips or exercises or rituals that you do to help you unlock this heart chakra, leave them in the comments below. I always love hearing, you know, what worked for you, what didn't work for you and share them with us. We're all learning. Thank you. <laughs> and I love you. Until next time, I'm Marisa Greco, your mystical guide.